Hello beautiful, so this is a video about me trying to be that girl. I've, I've been spending way too much time on TikTok and I don't know whether you've seen those TikToks where it's like tips for girls or something and it's got like little tiny little tips everywhere. Anyway, this is what TikTok keeps recommending to me so I'm like okay, do I need to change up my game? Like what, what do I need to do? And some of these things I literally never heard of. It's quite a long list of things to do um, and I've got most of December off of work so I feel like I should be able to complete, you know, like the 28 day to, to make a habit. I should be able to complete like a full, almost like a month of like doing these things every day. I'm going to do it every day. Some of these habits I already do and I thought they'd be like good to note because they're things which I kind of like made a habit of doing them and it has made a difference. Um, so I constantly apply lip balm and the way I do that is I always have a lip balm with me. The next one was lots of perfume so I was always so like insecure about smelling and like, I always make sure I have perfume. I always have one in my bag. I have like some body sprays at work. Um, I don't have a signature perfume or anything like that um, and I love to layer perfumes and I think that actually helps me to smell nice all the time because no one ever gets used to the way that I smell. I don't have a old oh, jasmine smells like that. It's like, a, oh, that's different. Oh, that's new. You smell nice. Um, I already don't use heat on my hair. Sunscreen, I wear sunscreen every day. People who don't wear SPF age 90% faster than everyone else, <laughs> which once I heard that stat, I was like, nah. So those are the things which I already do, which I'm happy with and I think made a big difference with being like that girl. Um, and the things which I'm gonna start doing where the video gets going. So the things which I want to start doing is drinking more water. I'm actually just going to keep a bottle with me constantly. Drink more green tea. Ta -da. So this is what I'm like, okay, this is interesting. This is why I wanted to name it like being that girl. Chewing gum for 40 minutes a day. Also, if you heard the fact about if you chew gum, it makes you less anxious. Like, hello. Because I guess like evolutionary wise, if you're eating, you obviously know that there's no threats around. Um, so like the, the action of like eating makes your body be like, oh, okay, I can calm down. So that's really cool. Um, but also it's meant to like define your jaw a bit more. Um, I'm just gonna try and wear my waist trainer for two hours a day. Try and walk for 10 minutes a day. I wrote 30 minutes down on here. I'm gonna do it 10 minutes a day. 20 squats a day with my weight. We're having a protein shake every day. Gua sha every day. Also I'm gonna try and use retinol. I try to do affirmations every day. And journal every day, even just like a sum up of my day. I'm gonna try and moisturize my body every day. Try and make an effort to stretch or just work on my flexibility. And I'm also gonna work on my hip flexors as well. Yeah, so there's a lot there. There we go. We start off with our green tea and let's just try and tick some of these off for the day. So it's half past 12 now. So half past two and then I'm done wearing the waist trainer. Yay. What else can we do now? I'm actually the squats actually. Um, so then they're done. I'm literally just going to do it in this outfit because I ain't going to sweat much. 20, okay. It's about a little bit, a little bit. <sighs> so I just took my waist trainer off, and I'm imme like immediately felt so much more snatched, like as soon as I took it off. So happy with that. Um, next, I am going to do some affirmations in the mirror. Um, first time I'm going to do it in front of a mirror, like looking at myself. So it's gonna be really fucking awkward, but. You know, we can, we'll try it. Well, that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. And yeah, it just made me feel like good. I like proper good about myself. I'm actually really, really happy with that. Okay, I'm going to make a protein shake and then we're going to go on our walk. I'm trying to like boom, boom, boom. Like, what's, what's, what's the word called? When like, when you're trying to create a habit, you couple when you couple things. So it's like, I wanna do one of these things, I'm gonna immediately then follow it with like the other things that I'm gonna do. Literally 10 minutes a day is so doable. Like it took me two minutes to talk to the field. And now there's a minute already gone, so I've got two minutes left and then I'm walking back. Like, this is not taking like hardly any time out of my day. Yeah, it's nice to just be out, hearing the birds, seeing the season change. Like, it's nice. And obviously get my body, like I feel like I'm at breath. I'm literally just walking. Like I obviously really needed to get out and move my body. Do you know what I mean? 
and then literally just like that my time has gone off and I'm on my way back. Wow. Ta -da. Okay, secured the goods, the gum. One. There we go. Most trainers do get into me a little bit, but that's all right. So I really don't feel in the mood anymore. Um, what have I got left? I've got all my face stuff left, which I'll do after I wash my face. And stretching. So I'll stretch now. I'll stretch now. It won't take too long. So yeah, I didn't do meditation or journaling last night because I was just wackoed. So I'm going to do it first thing this morning. So journaling is like a new thing for me and I don't really enjoy it. I don't really know how to do it. So as like a beginner, I'm going to tell you what I do when I journal. Is I'll write the date. I'll first just like word vomit the thing that's like been on my mind for ages. I might write down like my plan for today any kind of worries that I'm having, anything that's just annoying me, like niggly bits generally. And then I'll just like fill a whole page of um, affirmations like I did here. Let's go. Sweet. I have had the rose trainer on for 25 minutes whilst I got ready. So yeah, it doesn't feel uncomfortable or anything. I feel fine. My morning routine has ticked off water, green tea, gum, rose trainer, which is current, 20 squats, stretching, and I like activating my hip flexors. Yeah, let's go to town, sort out some errands, and come back. Um, I'll have a chit chat with you about how everything's going. So we're back. Had the gum in for an hour and 15 minutes, so that's gonna come out. Um, and this rose train's been on for an hour and 15 minutes, so this needs to come off because, oh my gosh, do these things dig into you. Yeah, so I haven't been wearing my rose trainer for two hours every day. I do like an hour and then like an hour between, like if I've done an hour and then like it's inconvenient for me to then keep going, then I'll take it off. I mean, I feel like it's definitely doing something because, like, my abs before, like, are so defined still and, like, they're, like, to me, they're there. They're not, like, gym abs, but they're still, like, kind of abs. Um, and I haven't done any ab exercises in, like, a month. My waist normally you know, runs very wide. It's, like, quite, like, just like this, which I know is only, like, like a, an inch or so difference, but it gives, yeah, that inch, like, gives me everything. It gives me the shape, you know? So, um, so I just got the size that I wear in my clothes. 
Um, I wouldn't ever suggest getting a size down. Um, I wouldn't ever kind of pull the, 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 the Velcro bits to where I can't breathe or my breathing's restricted in any way. So like literally if I'm getting results and I'm not like restricting myself, then you know, you can still get results without harming yourself basically. Let me put this. Okay, so I'm one week into the kind of, the habits of being that girl. Um, and I thought I'd just give you like a little quick review um, of everything. But what I've learned is like the hack to like keeping the consistency and that is doing the bare minimum. So like some days where I think, oh, like I'm, I'm starting to enjoy this now, I'm starting to do this better, let me introduce something new or like more intense to do it. I stopped myself and I was like, just keep doing the bare minimum because otherwise it's gonna be not fun again. Obviously the first couple of days was very like, oh, let's do it, like dragging myself to do it. Um, another kind of key to consistency, apart from doing the bare minimum, is like, if you can't do one of those things that day, don't fret about it. Yeah, and I like I haven't felt bad about it. I haven't, don't think it's hindered my progress at all. So a lot of it I've split between morning routine and night routine, and then like exciting like breaks throughout the day. Um, so let me just go go through all the all the things now. So every morning I'll wake up and the first thing I'll do I'll go downstairs and get some water and make a hot drink. Like my go-to is just green tea all the time. However, I'm not limiting myself to only green tea. It's like now I'm having a cup of coffee. So don't be too harsh on yourself. Like everything I must do must be healthy. Everything must be in relation to this new ha healthy habit. Like no, like give yourself breaks. Like I love coffee and I'm gonna keep drinking it. Also, how cute is this mug? I think my manager got it for me for my birthday. Then I'll go straight into stretching. So I'll stretch and I'll do my hip flexor stretches at the same time. Generally stretching, I'll hold each muscle pose for 10 seconds and that's it. That's made such a massive difference in like my energy. Like I'm in the car driving to work and I feel awake and I'm excited and I'm happy and literally like, I don't know how that happened. So yeah, that's really made a big difference. And I just, you, I start with the muscles that are the, the, the worst, like which is my, my calves. So I'll stretch my calves out first and then I'll just work my way up my body. Throughout the day, then I will probably make a protein shake. And then obviously the gum. I normally do that when I'm in the car. Again, waist trainer. When I come home from work, put my waist trainer on. I normally then have a nap. So when I'm off, I'll go on a walk for 10 minutes, come back. When I'm at work, I just check to see if I've done about 3,000 steps. And if I've done 3,000 steps, I won't bother going for another walk. So yeah, and then I get to the nighttime routine. So I'll get out of the bath. I'll do like a full body moisturize. Then that's when I'll do my retinol for my like skincare routine and then I'll do gua sha straight after and then it's my favorite bit so then I'll normally do a like guided meditation on YouTube for 10 minutes and um, I have noticed a big difference with since meditating and like I, I love doing a different meditation sometimes I'll do like a sleepy meditation a calming meditation a productive meditation a higher self meditation a chakra meditation like and they're all so different and like I really feel like my energy is changing a lot because of that straight after meditating I normally journal we love it, we love it. I keep it on my desk and I keep my desk open and I have a pen right next to it. Um, so it's very, very easy. As soon as I finish meditating, I just sit at my desk, pull it out and open it up. I think I've got a good routine with my journaling. Like I feel like I know kind of how to journal in a way that's very simple for me. Um, so I started off simple, always just put the date just so I've got something and I've started it. And then I will fill the whole page and I'll just start every sentence with I'm thankful for and just fill up every single line with something different. Everyone normally starts with I'm thankful for Tinky. And that's normally because she's sitting right next to me. It's like some days I'll have like just like a list of people. Other days I'll just put family, friends, and then go into like money and like hair, and like all those like little things. So like really just, it can be the most shallow thing you're thankful for. Like like every like Christmas is on all of them for me and like sex and stuff like that. So, you know, it doesn't have to be deep and meaningful and whatever. It could be like... Oh, I think Louis Tomlinson was actually on here yesterday. Yeah, I'm grateful for Louis. <laughs> and then I'll just do a, obviously I'm gonna blur out the page, but then I'll just write a whole page um, of just what I've done that day. And then I'll do like a full page of just an affirmation of the same affirmation the whole time. So I think yesterday was, I am so rich. Um, the day before was, I am loved and I'm loving. I am calm and happy. So I'm so good at saving money. So I'm calm and accepting. But literally, you can write whatever. Boom, and that's everything done for the day. Hey.
Hello beautiful, so this is end of week two, so like commencing the third week um, and I thought I'd just give you an update as to like where we're at. So look, so basically the last week I, four days of the week I was in Bath having a little Christmas holiday so like there was a lot of things which I knew that I just wouldn't do. I think one day I was like so, so sensitive and emotional about everything, like my affirmation I didn't know what to put in my journal so I think I put like I'm beautiful, worthy, rich and wanted or loved and beautiful worthy rich and loved and i wrote that and it literally like encompasses everything that like i try and you know project more of um i've got into a really good routine actually probably because of all this that whenever i feel sad anxious sensitive i sit there and i'm like is it real like is it something that i actually need to worry about am i anxious like the thoughts of thinking that no one cares about me like it, do these things have weight to them are they real um and it's like well actually people are busy and people have their own lives and i'm busy and i have my own life and i don't give people a shit ton of attention like i should um so i would really like kind of just sit in those moments and just be like jasmine you're okay you're okay you're happy you're fine you're calm you're wanted and you are loved but they're just not showing it the way you want them to right now All the mind stuff literally has made such a big difference like i'm really seeing the payoffs I mean, my butt's grown, but that's probably because I've just been constantly active. Like, it's just a nice shape at the minute. Um, so I'm happy with that. But today has been a very, very bad day. I think it's because I just got back from a trip. As you know, I've had it a million times. And I've just got, like, a, I had a ton to catch up on. And I just haven't been doing my normal routine. It's, like, four o'clock now. And I'm going to quickly try and do as much of this as I can before the end of the day, basically. So... We should stretch and then put waist trainer on and meditate. Hmm? <sighs> so now we have seven items ticked. We just gotta keep this on, have a protein shake, go out shower and affirmations, moisturize, meditate, journal. Meditate, should we meditate? Finding this peaceful, present awareness within as you settle into your meditative position. <clears throat> I swear like I don't even concentrate when I'm meditating, but it just still does, like all I did was just think about things and daydream, but like, it's still works i think that's a guided meditation like it just it's good i just realized this is week three so that means my next check-in with you is week four and it's my last check-in so then that's like wow i mean i know that there's been like amazing changes already and it just gets better every week so just just notice that i was like oh my gosh basically finished the video <laughs> um He's lovely, isn't he? Hello, doll. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> so I'm going to just summarise the whole experiment, challenge. Um, I'm going to go through each thing to see actually like, if it made a difference, if it was sustainable. First up, we've got water. And it just makes me feel more like not so clogged up. And that makes me feel more like a human, like my body's flowing. The green tea. So... I wanted to drink green tea more because I was pretty much only drinking coffee and English breakfast tea. So I really wanted to get away with that and substitute it with something better. Um, so that's work. I feel like it's helped my tummy a lot. I, I normally have really bad IBS. Touch wood, I haven't since like this whole experiment. So the next one is having gum for 40 minutes a day. To be fair, I don't know if it's the gum or if it's the gua sha, but I feel like my jaw has changed. The next one is waist trainer. I wear it, like even if I'm working out or if I'm just resting, my abs look so more defined afterwards. So it's not it's not even about the kind of like cinching in, which yeah, it really, really does, but that's not gonna sustain you, do you know what I mean? It's my abs, like my lines are so much more defined. Hmm, walking. So I started off by saying I was gonna walk 30 minutes a day and then I immediately changed it to 10 minutes. Um, I did go out for walks, um, but where I'm at work, I do kind of about 4,000 steps anyway, so I didn't think that was too bad and I wouldn't walk more than that on the days that I was working. Going forwards, 
I am not going to try and walk. I think the main reason why I wanted to walk was because I couldn't do any exercise and I'm really eager to get running again. So I feel like that will kind of substitute that. 20 squats a day. At the beginning, I was so good at this, so good. I did them weighted all the time. When I went to Bath, it messed up because I didn't have my weight with me and I was on 20,000 steps a day. So my butt was aching anyhow. And from then on, I just didn't. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's definitely given me more. Like it's given me more tightness and more shape. Oh, protein shakes every day. I haven't been doing this. Um, I don't really know why. I think, again, it was when I went to Bath and I didn't have my protein shake with me. So then it all kind of went a bit skew with. Um, I feel like this is highlighting a lot that you need to keep consistency and routine. The routine is the core. Next is Gua Sha. So I've been doing this every day that I've been washing my face. Um, have I noticed a difference in my actual face? No, I've still got these deep lines. My eyes are still very tired. I haven't got an eye lift. Uh, but the jaw, the jaw is like snatched. Affirmations. The first day I did this in a mirror. Every other day, I did it in my journal, which I found suited me a lot better. But when I was journaling or writing it down, it made my kind of like whole soul and body believe it more. Literally, like it, I can feel that it's, it changes like my mood and my whole essence instantly. Um, and I'm 2 million percent gonna carry that forward. So I was stretching every single day and I was getting way more flexible and I just felt more kind of, it would really wake me up in the mornings and if I did it in the night time, it would make me feel way more relaxed before sleep. And I really, really saw benefits of it. Like I was really getting more flexible. Last two, meditate and journal. So I was really good at doing these both kind of together, like in the beginning. Um, and then I think again, the Christmas events recently just kind of threw it out. Um, but so something I have been doing, like if I'm tired or if I want a nap during the day, I'll put a meditation, a guided meditation on, and then I'll then like fall asleep afterwards. Um, just because I know that like, if anything, my subconscious is gonna hear that. So I feel like I have been meditating a lot and I feel like it's helped me massively. I feel so much more in control of my emotions and so strange, like I feel just able to manipulate my life. And if I feel like overwhelmed with something, I'm like, like three seconds I'll have that feeling for and then I'm like, Jasmine, take a step back. Like, think what's going on, all the factors involved in this. Um, and that's something that literally like, money can't buy like it's it's priceless it's an absolute amazing trait that i'm so glad that i have now and i'm going to continue to meditate because i don't want to lose that and journaling like it's helped me so much to like work through things but i'm really interested in trying to do a lot more shadow work and even the days where i wasn't journaling to do shadow work and i was just summing up my day doing what i'm grateful for doing my affirmations like it still made me feel like it's just nice to like check in with myself and like review my day and see what kind of didn't, didn't serve me very well, see what things I could just stop doing. Like it was a really, really good trait. I do find it quite hard now to keep it up. Um, so I think I've got this kind of like weekly um, planner and I think I'm just gonna like at the end of the day, just like sum it up in like a couple words if I don't wanna do a full journal because some days I didn't. Yeah, I'm just very, very grateful for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you try out any of these. Um, just to conclude, when I put the little like end credits on, I'm gonna make a list of all the other kind of tips that I've seen since, or that I've realized that I do, that I've made a massive difference throughout my life, um, in case you wanna try some different ones. So thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm so proud of you, even if you just wanna work on yourself, or just kind of wanna hold yourself more accountable for your life. like. I'm proud of you. And if not, I'm proud of you regardless, even if you're just watching this for some dull entertainment.